Okay, so uh, no intro or outro today, but still follow me on my hashtags. I know some of those links are all the story articles and news reports I heard down below. I know it's a week old, but before I even get into the Sony thing, I might talk about this one tomorrow. This has been blowing up like crazy on the internet for the past three days, man. Or three and a half days. This thing about like this whole like wild ass Gamergate 3.0 or Comicsgate 3.0. Um, this thing about the whole Sweet Baby Inc. Oh, Lord, this has been a big-ass freaking dumpster fire disaster. So I'll probably cover that drama tomorrow if I don't do it today. But, psh, man, they completely shut down their Twitter. They shut down their Instagram, their Steam account. It's, just, it's completely fucking gone, bro. This thing destroyed itself from the inside out real bad. So I'll, I'll talk about that one another time, not this one. I know this is like a week old, but I don't care, six, seven days ago. It's Sony, PlayStation 5 related, but this one. I only read a little bit of it last time, like two days ago in my other videos. So Games Interest Out Biz, and I'm reading a little bit from um, a tiny bit. I'm not reading the whole thing from fucking The Verge. This is way longer than freaking um, the other one was. It was a thing from Jim Ryan, which I thought he wasn't the CEO of Sony PlayStation anymore. I thought he retired, but apparently he's still around. And it was a freaking thing from the Sony of PlayStation Tokyo, Japan. He even talked about it. So, <laughs> this is pretty wild ass shit. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I haven't talked about Sony on video game industry news in a while. Probably like a month, I think. The last time I did a state of play was like January or something. So, it's been a little while. So, playing some old school Dreamcast music in the background. Chilling in the back. I'll leave the link down below. And let's get started. So, it says, um, I didn't even get to read who, who talked about GameIndustry.biz. Oh. Here it is. Brendan Sinclair got to be credit as due. So, here we go. Sony's president to complain about the unaccountable developers for missing budgets and schedules with their other culprits beyond the games division cloud for manage. Let's truly jump in as being potatoes. This is pretty wild last stuff. Since the Sony Interactive Entertainment this week, aka okay, last week, they cut out workers from 900 developer employees, or about 8% of its global workforce, four freaking people. I hope they were able to get another job quickly. Some people were even saying, I'm just going to go off tangent a little bit. Like, my dudes, like, One Morning Gamers, you talk to I think Hanglin's more critical Charlie talked about it, but there's a game crash of 2024, 2025, it might happen. That's going to be scary if a gaming crash of 2024, 2025 does happen. That's going to be some wild ass crazy shit. But then again, the reason it happened in the 1980s, I'll just get to it in another video, but long story short, I think it's because the technology wasn't there in the 80s, early 90s, and that's the reason why the video game crash almost happened back then. Nintendo saved it to be the savior of the video game company. So that's probably the reason why it happened. If people thought back then, oh, it was just a fad, it was just like VHS, Blu ray, it's, it's going to go out of style, out of fashion. Thank God it didn't, because I wouldn't have nothing to freaking. Put my love and emotion and affection to if I would have been born as a 90s kid later, I wouldn't have been bored with shit. I would have just been a normie. I would have gotten fucking sports or fucking, God forbid, fucking yoga and boring ass normie bullshit. <laughs> like sports or freaking fantasy football and basketball and sports and all this other fake ass fucking bullshit. No offense to anybody that's LGBTQIA. I'm just saying. I mean that it's accuracy. Dumbass Tom Fuller. That's what I mean. I don't mean not trying to defend the old homo like eat stophobic or something like that. I'm not. I swear to God, I'm not. That's retarded to me. It's silly. It's ingenuous. It's stupid. and stupendous and retarded. And just not good. It's the accuracy of this full time. But yeah, I doubt if it's going to be a video game crash 2024, 2025. If it does happen, that sucks. And if it doesn't, as well as so many developers are getting laid off all over the place. It's ridiculous. I'll leave the link down below. My boy Vitech USA did a way better video on it. And my dude Mudahar, they talked about it way better. So let's begin. And Alfred and himself sadly comes between the news. Already this year, we've seen EA take the axe off of staff. Super massive cut about 26. This is, this is the one that, yeah, the Virgin, the other one was talking about. And we talk, you know, they were talking about this shit earlier, two days ago. I still want to cover it because this video game news console related too. So you know I had to jump in this bitch big time. So let's go into it. Wildlife Studios, is all, and these studios are big time studios or small studios. I don't know, video game developer company, CGI studios. I don't know. Yeah, um, Wildlife Studios dropped 21%, Deck 9 Games trimmed about 20%, Radical Forge shed about a handful, Staff, Cloud Imperium Games laid off about a number of unknown, and I got far back, I've never heard of them, they gotta be a tiny little video game developer studios, it must be from Europe somewhere, or Canada, I don't know, I'm gonna take my break real quick there, <laughs> let's continue on, shut hand, da da da, 
basically called it quits, halting productions until it finds its way to some unsuspected futuristic time frame. Wait, this was all just this week, aka last week, because it's from a while ago. I still want to talk about it because it's very important for the video game industry at large. For Xbox, Sony fans, and Nintendo fans, you know this shit's important, especially the PC Master Race. You guys know it's legit. That's stuff that's going on right now. Let's move on. Just as either lose a sight of a human cost of layoff and one of the numbers bigger get bigger enough. It's tempting to stop considering these decisions taken by individual companies for varying reasons and gestures to the directions of interest rates of those economy, quote unquote, and the reasons why all of these people have lost their jobs. Are sure of the impact, but Sony's not or Unity Square or Embrace your group have one of these companies that you floundering around saying, quote, yep, that's about right. Sony's consistently a profitable marketing leader, riding the success of the PlayStation 5, PS5, and a blockbuster and up lineup hits both experience and expect it, excuse me. Spider Man 2, and of course, the other one I didn't really give a fuck about it. I bored the living shit out of me. Hell Divers 2. It's a bunch of microtransaction bullshit. I don't like it. If you guys like it, cool. If you like Hell Divers 2, keep playing that video game. Three, it's not my cup of tea. So, why the layoffs? Let's move on. Sony's president, yes, yeah, the one I saw on Twitter, the one that you guys saw there on The Verge. I'll talk about that in another separate thing, who knows? Separate video. <sighs> Hiroki Totoki explained that in the company's recent financial earnings report, the PlayStation business is profitable but not profitable enough. You guys can go through all that. I don't really care about the numbers and all that. That bores the living shit out of me. Let's move on. For a fair comparison, we should note that the PlayStation Vita's failure hurt the bottom line earlier this year at the PS4 General, aka last year. So perhaps something in between these numbers will be a better place to set expectations for profitability and successfulness of the console platform holder. Regardless of whether or not Sony's expectations are reasonable, the point remains that the company is unhappy with the profitability of businesses as a standard. Part of this is no doubt due to the escalating cost of AAA developer that we are mentioning in the column of the weeks behind. And as Toki, to, to Toki himself promoted, this all quotation marks, you guys can read all that stuff there. I'm not reading any of that. On top of that, I think the profit margin will be a year. Oh, Insomniac, yep. As a matter of fact, Insomniac and Naughty Dog have been a bit wasteful. I forgot about them. It wasn't made the last one, old school Crash Bandicoot games. How could I forget about Insomniac games and Naughty Dog, especially? So on. There are other complaints or contemplating factors, excuse me, there is contemplating, like Sony inviting the creation and release of a technological, impressive, expansive virtual reality headset peripheral, and that they're denying that this kind of marketing software supports will be needed successfulness. As if we were talking about the being irresponsible with money, but, excuse me, we should be looking forward to the decision going acquisition spree, spending tens of the opposite of responsibility costing its company billions of dollars up front and inflating the headcount for the payroll of the future. The stat 13, da, da, da. Numbers mean company Sony acquired added the PlayStation family in the beginning. This is going to be a long, long ass freaking list. So let me read it real quick. House Square, Blue Point, Nexus, Software, Fire Spray, Fiber Games, Valkyrie Entertainment, Firewalk Studios, Heaven Studios, Savage Game Studios, Adelzi, Ice Eyes, Evo's Fighting the Game Tournament, and the Cherry on Top, Bungie. And then, uh, yeah, there's way, way more shit here. You guys can read the rest of it after these two sentences, paragraphs. For a surprisingly aggressive run of deals, especially a company company that won 21 years between shipping and its first game with Insomniac, Spider Dragon, and original PlayStation 1 game, financially acquiring studios in 2019. That is also surprisingly aggressive considering that PlayStation CEO, Jim Ryan, was preaching processing caution of uh, the acquisition just a few months before the scan that we planned like the meeting happened. Oh, wow, there's way more. I'm not reading all this. That's way too fucking long. Oh, Jesus, this is way, way more bigger than I thought. Yeah, you guys can read all that. I'll give my thoughts, views, and opinions at the end. Who knows? And it's the same thing. No one difference is from Tom Warren. I'm going to credit Tom Warren. Oh, yeah. Several other Sony PlayStation were affected by closing, including London Studios, PlayStation VR games. Sony Firebird Studios were also impacted by the British studios behind PlayStation VR Horizon called The Mountain Game. Oh, I forgot about that one. And the PlayStation VR 2, da da da. There's so much jabbering and jabbering and jibber jabber mess of this. Again, Tony President Satoki, Satoshi Jijuri, <laughs> Hiroki Totoki, that's a dude from Pokemon back in the day. Opportunity to grow PlayStation VR on PC earlier this month. 
It looks like Sony is throwing more of the resources at PC and the mobile efforts. See, I didn't hear about the mobile game stuff. So, wow. Delivering its substantial Go Online experiences, allowing PlayStation gamers to explore our worlds in different type of ways. As well as launching games on additional devices such as PC, mobile requires different approaches and different resources, says Holst. I don't know if Holst is. That was a thing for Ron. He made a big giant freaking speech. I'm not reading the whole thing. It sounds sad as fuck. I'll read maybe half of it. It says, I want to be transparent. This is from Jim Ryan, the old CEO that retired himself. Possible with you for our partners and our community, which means we have vision reducing our headcount by 900 people or about 8% of our current workforce. There will be an impact for employees at SIE, Regions of America, EMEMA, EA, Japan, and APACC. Several places studios are affected. I know that receiving this news will be hard for unsettling for we are wondering what this means to you. Timelines and producers have been approached will be varied based on your location due to local laws and regulations. For those in the United States, impacted by employees in the UK, there is a proposal. PlayStation Studios London will be closing its entirely. Wow, that's sad. So they all lost their jobs in London, England. I feel bad for you British dudes out there. You guys were developers out there. That's a shame. Let's move on. And now there will be re reductions in various functions as Sony Entertainment Interactive, aka SIE in the UK. The proposed changes meant that we will be period of collecting consultations before any of the further final decisions are taken. All employees who are part of the collective consolidations will be made aware in the next steps today. That's what he's saying. It's coming to head haunt you. You can't really believe everything this motherfucker says. Oh, he's a rich billionaire. Fuck him. It's wrong. The other countries will begin to be concert conservationists or conser conversations. Begin conversations with those who are potentially at risk impacted as well as for the proposed course of the actions. For those leaving SIE, you are Leaving this company with our deepest respect and appreciation. Yeah, right. You're a tenant. You only care about the fucking money and profit. Piece of crap. That's such bullshit. You did worse than Bobby Coder did. I can't call it. You're way more bigger demon. Sad. Thanks for mine. But those who will be staying at the SIU will be saying goodbye to their friends and colleagues. will be cherishing during this process and that will be very painful. Resiliency, sensitivity, and adaptiveness will be critical <laughs> in the weeks and months to come. Whoa. Yeah, some of them are not even have a freaking pot to piss in, which is a real, real freaking sad. They're not going to be able to keep their apartment, houses, homes anymore. They're probably going to get evicted in the house the next week. They might be homeless on the streets, and hopefully they get a job as quick as I can. So I feel bad for those humans that lost hard work and effort ass fucking jobs and busting his ass for his millionaire billions. He's like, piece of shit, motherfucker. He got the goddamn fucking golden parachute, and they did it. Let's move on. This will not be easy as I am aware of the impact of well being well being. Affected employees will receive support, including severance benefits. While these are challenging times, it is not indicative, indicated or indicted for a lack of strength of our company, of our brand industry. Our goal is to be relying the main adaptability to continue for our folks to deliver the best game experiences possible now to the future, please. Thank you for your time and understanding during this difficult period. Please be kind to yourself and to each other. My thoughts, views, and opinions. And Ryan said that. Yeah, some of these people are going to be suffering bad in the streets. Hopefully, they got their 401k pensions. Hopefully, they did. I'm not an accountant or a millionaire billionaire. I'm not a Wall Street journalist fool. I'm not a lawyer. But from what I heard, a lot of these people are going to be suffering extremely fucking bad. If they don't get their shit together, some of them might not be able to get their freaking jobs in time. They're not going to be able to have their paycheck to paycheck life. They're going to be fucking screwing me up. I'm extremely bad for these people. I really, truly do. Around my heart, sure shadow. He's taking a picture of them being all happy and hilarious and sweet to them. And he's about to fire and destroy their whole fucking life. It's going to turn the world upside down. It's going to be fires and street in the UK and London out there, man. And probably Australia and the UK. And you hope, God forbid, here in the United States, it might happen here, too. Some of these people are going to be picking up motherfucker. But so it just it destroyed their whole lives, even. Maybe it hopefully gets its job in non Microsoft. It probably work for Steam. Maybe Nintendo, if they're lucky. They work for Nintendo or. EA. Hopefully they work for Ubisoft. Ubisoft doesn't cut them out too much. I ain't the only one that's probably going to be most successful here, if not Ubisoft. But they either be the Call of Duty peoples, or Bungie Studios might be okay. And that's it. Tell us from the money. Peace out, ladies and money. See you on the full side. Cut me out so short. Talk to you guys soon. Do goodbye. Late. See you guys in the next week's video. Free for vlogs. Thanks for taking the watch. I'll talk to you guys soon. Goodbye. The next future videos with no content. Later.